Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of April, so stay tuned. So during the month of April, it wasn't a very big month as far as releases, but there were some titles that I was able to get. I did get some of my pre-orders in from February. Um, so first up, I got Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This is the Ultimate Edition on 4K. Unfortunately, this one did not come with a slipcover, um, which would have been nice, but I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, I got Shadow in the Cloud. I've heard some mixed things about this one, but wanted to get it. It was pretty affordable, so I picked it up. I did finally pull the trigger on these two releases, on um, John Wick Chapter 3 and Knives Out, because of the slipcover. So, um, happy to have those. I wish there would have been more Blu-ray releases for that. I got Midway with the slipcover. I really like the slip on this one. I got Earwig and the Witch, the um, G Kids edition. So um, I've heard some good things about this one and picked it up to add to my G Kids collection. One of the big releases just has, just has come out. It is the Donnie Darko 4K set from Arrow Video. So very happy to have that one added to the collection. I was able to pick that one up at Walmart. Um, from the Disney Movie Club, I got the Best of Mickey which has Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, and um, Celebrate Mickey. So I, um, I like this. I like these multi-packs, and I really like it when they come with a slipcover. So I'm happy to have that one added. I got Valiant, and I also got the Black Cauldron. So very happy to have these um, Disney Movie Club exclusives added to the collection. Um, some of the other releases I got, I got Leap of Faith. Um, this is a documentary about The Exorcist, so definitely looking forward to checking this one out. The Mortuary Collection. Heard some good things about that one. I really like that slipcover. I did get The Reckoning. Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Now this right here is the Target Lenticular Slipcover Edition. I did watch this movie and thought it was really funny. I, I enjoyed it. Don't know that I will be revisiting it again anytime soon, but I am happy to have that lenticular slip. I did get the Best Buy exclusive Mortal Kombat 2 film collection, which I did an unboxing of if, if you'd like to check that out. Okay, from the, um, from the UK, most of these are from the UK, if not all of them. I did get an, an American Werewolf in London still book edition. Really nice looking artwork on this. I did do an unboxing of that if you want to check it out. I did watch the movie and really enjoyed it. Very, very good movie. I'd highly recommend you check it out if you have never seen it. And then I also picked up this edition from Zavi. It's um, just a hard box edition with the same still book on the inside and some art cards. So I was able to pick that one up. I did get Massacre at Central High. I can't remember exactly where it was I ordered this from, but it was an exclusive. Um, it's got some really, um, from what I from what I've read, it's got some really good scenes in it. Um, I'm not very familiar with the movie, but it is a horror movie, and I'm very happy to have that one. I did get the Reanimator Steelbook Edition, which I have not unboxed yet, but I do plan on doing one. This right here is Region B locked. Um, I got AI Artificial Intelligence, which I did an unboxing on. Um, this is from the Sci-Fi Destination series. I got um, from, I think, Second Sight, I got Raw, the box edition. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Haven't had a chance to um, check this one out yet, but happy to have this one. I also got The Endless Summer from Second Sight. Another nice set. And I got this Masters of Cinema 2 Films by John Ford collection. It has Hellbent and Straight Shooting in it. So another addition to the um, Eureka line. Okay, some other titles that I picked up that I ordered um, is Beyond Terror. This is from Cauldron and it was limited and I believe it has since sold out. Also, I got The Crimes of the Black Cat which is also sold out. 
I got Inferno. Don't know very much about that one. I got another zombie um, three disc limited edition set. This time I got the one with the lenticular with them on the bridge. So this is the second zombie um, Blu-ray three disc set I purchased. The other one was the one with the zombie head. There's one more I need to get. I also got the lift and down. Heard some good things about this. There was a sale, so I picked those up. I got Baba Yaga, or however you say that. I got the Killer Elite. This is a Scorpion release with a slipcover. And I got Rollerball with a slipcover. Okay, from Kino Lorber, I did get the 4K edition for Spaceballs. Billy the Kid versus Dracula. There's Always Tomorrow. Lost Highway. The Chamber. White Squall. The Interpreter. The Wildlife. Blown Away. And The War. So those were all Kino Lorber releases, which I did a video on, and also from Warner Archive, I finally got my order. I got Cabaret, which I'm not even sure how that happened, but anyways, I got that. Gaslight. Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3. Summer of 42. Night School. Room for One More. The Man Who Would Be King. The Tex Avery Screwball Classics Volume 2. The Curse of Frankenstein. Josie and the Pussycats. The Complete Series. And also Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. The Complete Series. So those were all from Warner Archive. So lastly, my last pickup for the month is the Dirty Dancing Steelbook, which I did an unboxing of. I got one two, three of them. And so you may wonder why in the world did you pick up three? Well, it's because all three of these so far have been damaged. Um, they all, two of them have big dents in the back or small dents or just a dent in, in general. And then one of them has actually got a big scratch on the bottom. So I've had a hard time actually finding one of these. Um, as you can see, there's a big scratch there at the bottom. I've had a hard time finding a decent one of these. So it is kind of frustrating that I've had to purchase these three times. But I do have one coming in the mail. And I've got a store pickup at two different Best Buy stores. So hopefully I'll get at least one decent one. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these um, pickups for this month of April. Also, let me know if you were able to pick up any of these titles. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.